All right, jab blues uh, is pretty much straightforward in, in the notes, but um, there are definitely some fingering quirks in here. So let me sort of go through them and sort of pick up on some things as we go. <laughs> Seven, there's really nothing in the right hand. You have the F and G sharp, which I play one and two, and then I slide from the two of uh, the G sharp to the A using the two finger. It's really the only way, you know. I've, I've tried some other methods of you know, doing that, and it, it just doesn't work. I, I'm pretty sure that he used the two to slide. And then, same thing going into the next measure. And then um, the last part of measure nine, I do use one, two, three there. Or just those three notes alone. And then back to sliding the second finger. So again, measure eight, nine, and ten, this is how I perform it. Okay. And then measure thirteen, we have this pedal part, which I've marked. It has a suspension which resolves down uh, B flat to A. And the A, even though I don't have it notated this way, the A I always take with the, the left hand because then that puts me in better position to do what comes next to the right. So every time that comes up, I'm always playing that A with the left hand. So it looks like this. And that way I'm ready to go. And so again, um, Measure 15, 16, 17, uh, you're always going to be sliding with the two finger from the G sharp to the G, to the A. Every time, you got to slide with that too, and it, it, takes, it takes a while to get that motion down, but once you get it, it's not too bad. And then I also wanted to look at quickly Pratt City Blues. Um, I think there's some fingering quirks in this as well. Let me try playing through a little bit of this. In measure six, the octave E flat to D, you want to slide that. Yeah, otherwise there's no way. Um, all right, then left hand. There's some. When you change position, I think there's some funny fingering. Let me take a look at that. Oh, here we go. Seven, you come uh, down with the thumb on beat three, but then the end of three switch to two and five, and then that way you can hit the the G and the F with one and two. So let me show that again. Now with the lower note as well. Again, it'll, it'll feel kind of funny at first, but you'll you'll get the hang of it. Same thing with uh, measure nine. Let's look at the next section, starting with. Measure 16. Ah, uh, yes. So, measure 
20, you know, you come, you use the, the third finger for the first note of measure 20, and then jump down. Rather than trying to hit that with a thumb, because you're, you're right in position from the previous measure. care of most of the quirks for the left hand. So that covers the main issues for both of those pieces. Um, feel free to email me if you're having trouble with a particular spot because I, I have performed um, Pratt City Blues before you know, without too much trouble so um, there's definitely solutions for any problems that you, you know, encounter.